Hey everyone, today I thought I'd show you what a day in my life is like. I've actually been meaning to do this for ages now, but I just haven't got around to it. But I am going back to school in like two or three days, so now literally is my only chance. Anyway, it's currently like quarter past eight, I think. I've set my alarm for eight every single day this holiday. It's a bit of a new me, actually. When I was at home, I used to just not set my alarm, wake up at like 10, 11-ish, and it was all fine. But I've had to be productive this holidays, so I've set my alarm. And I actually think I'm adapting to it. When I wake up at eight now, it kind of feels like how it used to feel when I woke up at 10. That's going a bit far, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm really quite hungry now, so I'm gonna go make breakfast. Right, time to make breakfast. I've really got back into my whole berries and yogurt and granola thing. Over winter, there was a stage where, I don't know, it just didn't really feel right. But now, because it's getting a bit warmer, it feels all right. This yogurt's actually been open for ages. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to have it because there's no yogurt left in the house, but that does not smell very nice. Oh yeah, I'm having a bit of problem with the granola, actually. You know how I used to get that rude health granola, which I used to talk about the whole time? Well, they don't sell it in shops anymore and it's really inconvenient. So whenever I want to buy it, I have to buy a multi-pack on Amazon and buy five boxes of granola. So I've kind of resorted to finding another option and this is the new one and it is really good. Like I do recommend trying this one because I actually think this is competing for first place. Anyway, I am very hungry. It's been like half an hour since I said I was hungry and I've just got progressively more hungry. So I'm going to make this. Okay, I really don't think this is in date. Oh, well. mm. oh, another thing I started doing is getting this granola. Like, it's a bit gross for the rest of my family because I literally do rummage through it. And look for the dried fruit. I know I could just buy a packet of dried fruit, but that doesn't taste the same. It tastes a lot better when you've just, like, found it in granola. Do you know what I mean? I think I've actually eaten it all. <sighs> yeah, that is very nice, to be fair. Mm. Right, it's been about an hour since I made breakfast. I haven't really done much, to be honest. I've kind of just sat over there on my laptop, but oh well. I thought I'd show you my new coffee recipe because I was a very much hot coffee person until recently because every time I tried iced coffee, I'd try it with almond milk because everyone online has it with almond milk. And I don't know, I really don't like almond milk in coffee. It makes your coffee taste like nuts rather than coffee. So I thought this holiday, I'd give it a go with normal milk and it's transformed it. Like, let me just show you what I do. So I basically just get coffee from the coffee machine, put it in the mug, and then put this in the freezer for like, I don't know, half an hour. And then obviously add it to the ice, add some milk. I don't really know how much I'm meant to do. That looks like enough. Hang on, let me get the lid. Right and back. And then put these drops in. These are just like vanilla flavoring drops. It says put eight in, but I like it quite strong. So I put like 12 in. Okay, that's really good. Really, really very nice. Also, I know I know, literally everyone's got these. That's what made me want one. And so I was just like, right, you need to get one of these. Went to Starbucks and it got to the point where I actually felt a sense of accomplishment when I got this cup, which is quite embarrassing, really. It does make me feel like my drinks are from Starbucks. Also, if you put this exact drink in like a neutral bullet or something, it turns it into a sort of frappuccino. So it is genuinely like you've gone to Starbucks. I can't bother to do it now. Well, I can't do it now. I've literally drunk the drink, but I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. Anyway, it's got to five past 11. I've actually done nothing this morning. I'm gonna go do some work, I think, but I'll see you later. I've just done a couple of hours of work, which is good, because I don't know if I've explained to you, but you know how A-levels were canceled? Basically, my school's now running this thing, so we've got two sets of exams, and the first set is in a week and a half. I'm kind of freaking out, but it's fine, it'll be fine. So yeah, I've literally spent my whole Easter holidays up here. I've got a new setup. You know how I used to work at Stephen's office? Well, I just couldn't really be bothered to go over there. And actually, I think he's come back to work, because they're allowed to now, so I obviously couldn't go there. So I'm working from the attic. This place is quite nice actually, except the wasps. Every single day, like each day without fail at 3 p.m. I think it is, a wasp just comes in and buzzes around and distracts me. And it is so annoying. Like they're not here all day. And then suddenly at three, a wasp comes. So I have to get it out the window without getting stung. And it's really hard and scary and distracting and annoying. Anyway, I'm going for my daily walk now. I need to get changed into something a bit more practical because it's kind of Arctic outside and I'm wearing shorts. You know how I used to hate walking? Well, it's now actually turned into my favorite part of the day. Every single day I go to a local shop to get a mango and orange sparkling Rubicon. For starters, that drink is delicious. But I don't know, something about just the fresh air is really nice, especially because I literally am spending all day cooped up inside working at the moment. Oh my god, this drink. 
honestly. I don't know what it is about it. It just, to be fair, I feel like this is just a phase. I go through phases with drinks and then I'll get bored of it. I'm, I'm sure by the time I'm next home, I will hate this drink. But you know, for the meantime, I got a bit distracted on my walk and I've come to see Willow, but she just won't come to me. And it's really weird. Like I've even got hay. And I would go in there, but the other horse who's with her is just really grumpy. I've got a funny feeling that if I went in, it would just run at me and try and kick me, which just wouldn't be fun. So I'm going to wait. But I have been waiting like five or ten minutes and she still won't come. It's weird. She's greedy. Normally, if I bring her A, she like runs over to me and just like goes for it. But I don't know if you can see her. She's over there. Oh, well, I give up. I'm going inside. I'm making an omelette for lunch. I've actually got a new recipe, which I have to share with you because it is just delicious. So obviously first I add eggs and then I add red pepper, spring onion, salami, basil, and these sun-dried tomatoes. Are they sun-dried? or No, they're sun-drenched. These are like the real game changer. But then I also add mozzarella and pesto. And oh my gosh, it is just delicious. I know that might sound like too many flavors for something, but trust me, try it and you will see how nice it is. Anyway, I need to start making it because I am really quite hungry. The first thing I do is add the vegetables so they can soften a bit. It makes it a bit nicer. Right, I'm now adding the egg. I'm not gonna lie to you, it gets a bit stressful once you've added the egg because you've got to act very quickly, otherwise it burns. Right, and cheese. Oh, salami. I'd be such a bad chef. I'd literally just eat half the ingredients. It would not be good. Okay, pesto. Oh, I did not mean to drop that in there. That really hasn't folded well. It kind of looks more like fancy scrambled eggs in my opinion, but it will still taste the same. It's fine. Okay, that is sensational. Oh my God. That was so nice. Right. What next? <laughs> do I still have any Easter chocolate left? I'm pretty sure I do. Thank God. I got an Enchanted Eggs massive egg for Easter. I broke my record. I finished it in under 24 hours this year, which was quite impressive, really. But what do we have left? These, which are just Enchanted Eggs. And these, oh my gosh, these are so nice. They're the Hotel Chocolate Caramel Bunnies. And these are so good. I managed another couple of hours work, which is good, but now I just don't really know what to do with myself. I've been putting off taking my corona test all day. We've had to take them twice a week since I went back to school, so that's been a couple of months, and I don't know what it is, but just for the whole day after I've taken it, I feel a bit like... Do you know what I mean? It's really weird. Anyway, so I'm going to take this, and then I think I might go to the gym. Hmm. Maybe. I don't think I will go to the gym, to be honest, but maybe. Yeah, so I didn't go to the gym, but I will. At the start of this holiday, I actually started doing the Chloe Ting two-week program thing. But after the eighth day, I had a rest day. And instead of taking one rest day, I took four. And then after the fourth rest day, I was like, right, this just isn't for you. So I stopped it. But I have been doing five minutes of hula hooping on each side. I really, if I were you, would not fall for the whole hula hooping thing. As in, I don't really know why I'm still doing it because... I have seen zero changes and I've done it every single day for three weeks. So I don't know why I'm still doing it, to be honest. To be fair, it is quite fun. Also, it does wind up my family because I'm literally the only one in my family who can hula hoop. Whenever the rest of my family do it, they just look really quite stupid. I thought hula hooping was just something that, you know, naturally everyone could do. Clearly not. Like when the rest of my family do it, I don't know what they look like. They're kind of like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? and just look a bit ridiculous. Anyway, my mum's cooking supper now. I think we're having this like asparagus chicken thing. I've had quite a nice evening actually. I didn't really do much, but it's been pleasant. Before I go to bed these days, I started using this. I think it's called a gua sha or a gua sha. I got it off Amazon and it's really nice. People are using them, I think, to change the shape of their face. I don't know why people use them actually, but I got it just because it feels nice on your face, especially when you put it in the fridge. After I've got it out the fridge, which I've just done, it's just really cold. I don't know. I can't really describe the feeling. You should get one and see. But yeah, I think you're meant to use them like that. I really don't know though. Ow, that kind of hurts. To be honest, I would not take my word on how to use one of these. Anyway, after I've done this, I'm literally just going to get into bed. So I guess that's the end of my day. Sorry, it's not been the most exciting day. I feel like my life is just going to get a lot more exciting once my exams are over. Because the restrictions will be like way more ease then. And I don't know. I'm really excited. Anyway, I'll see you soon.